What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys likely do know, because I do share it on the channel, I do buy and sell on eBay and locally on Facebook and Kijiji as well. And I do mainly focus on comics and video games. So today I thought it'd be a great opportunity to share with you certain video game consoles that you should be buying to flip for a great profit. Let's get right into this. So today on my list is not only ones that I personally have sold for great profit, but other ones that do sell fairly high. Now some of these prices and video game consoles that I'm going to be talking about in today's video, sometimes the prices of what it sells for does fluctuate, but sometimes for the most part they do stay around what I'm going to be talking about and the prices I'm going to be talking about. So let's just get started. The first one here is the Fat Model PlayStation 3 with the model number either A or B. If it's A or B, that means it's backwards compatible with PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. Now, these ones here do have a problem with the red light of death. Now, if you are able to find one that is fully functional and it does work properly and testing it to make sure not only PS3 games work, but also PS2 and PS1 games do work in it, if everything is fine and it is backwards compatible with model number A or B, you should be able to sell it for $300, which is really a lot of money for a PlayStation 3. But you have to remember this is for collecting purposes only and people that collect the consoles want one that is backwards compatible. So it's basically like three systems in one. That is why it's so much money. And this one here, you can find them in the area for under 100 or around $100, but it is harder nowadays with eBay. People can go and look up the prices, and for the most part, I do see them going between two to 300, but you can come across them for less. You just have to jump on them whenever you do find them. The next one here is the Xbox 360 Halo Reach Edition. This one here was $200. This was an amazing, amazing find for me. It's valued at $200. You can find them for about 100 to 125, so that is $75 profit if you do find them. Now that has to be in perfect condition. Factory resets and has all the parental controls taken off of it, and preferably bundling it with the Xbox 360 Halo Reach game. Now you don't necessarily have to have that game bundled with it to be able to sell the console, but it does definitely help for collectors. So this is a great console. It looks amazing with a nice silver finish. And a lot of people do like it. So it's valued at around $200 if you're able to pick one up for cheap. Now, the next one here is the Nintendo 3DS Galaxy Edition. This is one here that I did purchase, and I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to keep it for my personal collection. Now, finding these, it's hard to find them cheap. Mine, I did pay to resell it. I did pay up for it, and I paid $190 for it, which was a lot of money and something that I should not have done. Finding them, I'm trying to get them around $150, but nowadays, like I said, a lot of people do look up the prices of what things are worth and try to sell it around what they are worth. So if they are able to pick one up, it is valued at about $250. So for me, I bought it at $190, I sold it for $250. That is still $60 profit, but if I was able to get it for a lot less, that'd be obviously a lot more profit in your pockets. Next is the PlayStation 2 Slim White console. This is something that I didn't even think would be valuable because I know the PS2 fat model and the PS2 slim are reducing in price. Right now I can find them in my area for under $50, but the white one, which I guess is a rare console, if it's not yellowed and not damaged at least, and it does have a white controller and it's fully functional, you should be able to sell it for $150. This is something that I was able to find in my area, but it was way too far of a drive for me to get, but they were only asking $60 for this, and I knew I could sell it for $150. I just decided not to make the long, long drive for it, because to me, the long drive was not worth it, but in the future, if I do find these locally, and they are functioning and again, not yellowed, then you should be able to sell them for $150 with no games, just one controller, the console, maybe a memory card and all of the wires. $150 for the PlayStation 2 Slim, that is pretty great profits. Next up is the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP 
NES edition, which I actually have in my personal collection here. I do have one for myself. This here does sell for around $200. So that is great to find if you are able to find them at low conditions. Obviously, since it is a special edition, mine is in great condition. But if you are going to be selling it to get around the $200, it has to be in almost perfect condition. If it's starting to wear and starting to uh, be scratched up or anything like that, or the battery's not working properly, or if it even doesn't even come with a charger, you're gonna get a lot less for it. But if it is in perfect condition, you should be able to get around $200, which for a Game Boy Advance SP is some great money. You should be able to find a standard Game Boy Advance SP for $100 or less to be able to sell for profits, but these ones here tend to go for a little bit more because they are a special edition. So it's harder to find them to be able to flip, but you can still find them out in the wild. Next up is the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man Edition. This is something that I've wanted to get for myself, but I can't justify, I already have a PlayStation 4, so I can't justify getting another one just for collecting purposes. And as a reseller, they're hard to find for cheap because people know they're worth a lot of money. So this console healer, so this console here sells between four to five hundred dollars. That's if it's used. If it does have the box and it's complete in box, it's a little bit more. It's about six hundred dollars. And if it is brand new, sealed, never opened in the box, it is worth seven to eight hundred dollars or more. So this console here is one of the most valuable ones and ones that if I do see locally listed, if I see it cheap enough and it is in perfect condition, I will try to buy it, but usually people snatch them up fairly quick and I don't get the opportunity to buy them to flip for the business because they're so hard to find. I even have a coworker that asked me if I was interested in buying one, not necessarily to resell, but even if it was just for me, but he wanted way too much for it. He wanted about 350, almost $400. And that is the low end of what I can sell it for, so it wasn't worth me purchasing it from him, not knowing if I'd be able to make much profit off of it. Next is another Nintendo 3DS. That is the Legend of Zelda one, the gold one with the Legend of Zelda logo on it. This one here actually has been spiking since I sold it last and going higher in value, and it actually sells between three to $400. Now, again, if it's new, completes in box, sealed, it's worth about five to $600. But just for one that is used with no scratches and everything is working great on it, three to $400. When I realized that, I kind of wish that I held off selling it, but I did sell it, I think, over a year ago, and I did make some great profit for it. I think I sold it for around 250 275 something like that, and I paid less than $100 for it. So I did make some great money off of it, but obviously, if I would have held on to it, I would have sold it for a lot more. And that's the thing with consoles or anything that you're selling, video games, comic books, uh, anything you're selling on eBay, the prices can change all the time. So just because you sold something in the past for a lot of money, before buying it again to resell, look up the value of it again, what the sold comps currently are, and see if they have dropped in price. That's something that I found it does happen from time to time. The last console that I wanted to talk about is just the standard Game Boy Advance SPs, any of the solid colors. If you do find them, you can get them for between $80 to $100. That's usually what I like paying for them. Usually I like getting the ones that do have a fully functioning battery. The battery is not drained, so I don't have to replace it. And preferably comes with a charger because if it needs a battery, that's about $5 to $10. If it does need a charger, that's about $10. So that's about... 15 to 20 dollars extra they have to put into the console and if it is in perfect condition no scratches or anything you should be able to sell it for around 150 that's the ones i've been selling locally i have been uh getting 150 for them and i still have one left that i recently did purchase but if you are getting them if they're in perfect condition you should be able to sell them for about 150 dollars but you should be able to pick them up for around 80 to 100 dollars so even if you buy it for hundred dollars and you do replace the battery and you, you do get a charger for it and that's hundred and twenty dollars that's still thirty dollars profits not usually where I want to be but profit is profit so that is something else to keep in mind that the standard Game Boy Advance SPs if it's in perfect condition should be able to get about hundred and fifty dollars 
Now, of course, there is other consoles, and usually whenever I sell a standard console, I do bundle it with games and do get a very decent price, but these are the ones to look out for, and other ones as well, other uh, Nintendo 3DS uh, limited editions, you should be able to get some decent money. Just look up the soul comps before jumping on something, because some of them I've found and I thought would be worth a lot of money tend to not be, tend to be under $200, and usually people ask for roughly what they are worth, so it's harder to find them, but definitely be on the hunt for some of these, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.